Imagine this, it's 2026 and the Galaxy S26 Ultra finally launches. It's got a shiny new design, upgraded cameras, maybe even a fancy new display trick. But when you flip the spec sheet, one line stands out like a bad joke. Battery capacity, 5,000 milliamp hours. The same number we've been staring at since 2020. Seven years, no change. At this point, it's less of a feature and more of a tradition. And that raises the big question, are we being scammed or just too willing to settle? Now, don't get me wrong, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery is not bad. In fact, it's still considered solid by flagship standards. With the right chipset efficiency and display optimization, it'll take you through the day without much drama. But here's the problem. This is Samsung's Ultra, their no compromise device, the one that's supposed to represent the absolute peak of mobile technology. Yet in a world where $200 budget phones are rocking 7,000 milliamp hour batteries, the most premium Galaxy is stuck at the same capacity it had back when Tiger King was trending. The Galaxy S20 Ultra was the first Samsung phone to squeeze in that 5,000 milliamp hour cell, and back then it was impressive. Rivals from Google, Xiaomi, and Oppo were lagging behind, still offering smaller packs. But fast forward to today, and while those companies have moved forward, Samsung hasn't budged an inch. One year of holding steady? Understandable. Two or three? Forgivable. Seven? That feels like resting on laurels that are starting to collect dust. So why would Samsung do this? Well, there are a few possible reasons, none of which are particularly flattering. The simplest one? People keep buying the Ultra anyway. This is the phone with the best screen, the best cameras, the best build, and the best software support in Samsung's lineup. For most buyers, that checklist outweighs the stagnant battery number, and Samsung knows it. If the sales keep coming, where's the incentive to change? But here's where the frustration kicks in. The problem isn't that the Galaxy S26 Ultra's 5000 mAh battery won't last a day. It will. The problem is about ambition, about whether Samsung is still pushing boundaries in every way it can. Because the competition is. OnePlus is shipping 6,000 milliamp hour batteries. Xiaomi is selling a phone with 7,000 milliamp hours at just $200. And it's actually thinner than both the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Let that sink in. A budget phone that's cheaper, slimmer, and has a 40% bigger battery. And then you've got experimental players like Realme testing out insane 15,000 milliamp hour monsters. Sure, those aren't mainstream devices, but the point is clear. Other companies are at least exploring new territory. Samsung, meanwhile, seems content to recycle the same number year after year. That hurts not just from a performance standpoint, but from a perception one. Samsung is supposed to be the brand that leads, not one that lags behind or plays it safe. Think about it. This is the company that pioneered big displays with a note, that turned curved screens into a trend, that pushed foldables into the mainstream. But when it comes to batteries, they've been stuck in neutral since the Trump administration. It's almost like sending a rocket to the moon in the 60s and then deciding, yeah, once is enough, we'll just coast on that achievement forever. Except this time, it's not space exploration, it's the daily annoyance of charging your $1,000 flagship while cheaper phones flex bigger numbers and longer endurance. Now, of course, there's nuance. Packing in a bigger battery isn't just about slapping in extra capacity. It changes the internal design, the weight, the thickness, and even how heat is managed. But when other companies are proving it can be done, sometimes with phones that are slimmer and far more affordable, it's hard to justify why Samsung can't or won't. And that's why this matters. Because in the premium space, perception is everything. Specs aren't just about performance, they're about signaling innovation and leadership. Every time Samsung sticks to the same 5,000 milliamp hour capacity, it's essentially saying, this is good enough, we don't need to do better. But in a market this competitive, good enough isn't good enough. The Galaxy S26 Ultra will sell. People will still line up for the cameras, the display, the S Pen, the software support. But every year Samsung chooses not to push battery technology forward, it seeds ground to competitors who are hungrier and bolder. And eventually, even loyal buyers will start to notice that the so-called Ultra isn't quite as ultra as it should be. So the next time you see a spec sheet proudly showing off 5,000 milliamp hours, just remember, that number hasn't changed in seven years. Not because it couldn't, but because Samsung decided it didn't have to. And maybe, just maybe, it's time we start asking for more. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. See you in the next video. Take care.